Today we are going to design the casing of the gearbox. Let's start to design. First of all, we have to open a new part. Then make a sketch on front plane and draw a sketch by using center rectangular. Then we have to go to smart dimension and make dimensions. This length is equal to 241 millimeters and this length is equal to 88 millimeters. Okay, the sketch is fully defined one. Then go to the features, click on extruded boss. Any condition is mid plane and the depth is equal to 90 millimeters. Okay, then Select shell feature and the surface is selected like this and the thickness is equal to 5 millimeters. Okay, then you can see the shell effect is created this way. Then select this surface and make a sketch on that one. Right click, select sketch. Then draw a center rectangular shape from the origin like this way. Then select smart dimension and make dimension like this. The length of this line is equal to 130 millimeters and this length is equal to 281 millimeters. Then this sketch is fully defined one. Then go to the features and select extruded boss. The depth is equal to 10 millimeters. Okay. Okay. We have make wrong thing and then delete this feature, created feature. Okay. And also the sketch. Delete both two. Then click on this bottom surface and make a sketch on that one and then draw a center rectangle from the origin and select a smart dimension the length is equal to 130 and this one is equal to 281 millimeters then go to the features and select extruded boss the thickness is equal to 10 millimeters as the previous case. Okay. Then again, select this surface and make a sketch on that one. Again, draw a center rectangle from the origin. The dimension, the length of this line is equal to 271 millimeters. And this length is equal to 120 millimeters. Okay. Again, select these four edges and click on convert entities. Okay, then go to the features and select extruded boss. Revise direction. The depth is equal to 5 millimeters. Okay. Then select the surface and make a sketch on that one. Draw a circle from this point and again draw another circle from this point. Make these two circles as equal one. Then go to the smart dimension. The diameter is equal to 55 millimeters. The distance from this line is equal to 55 and distance between this line and this origin point is equal to 88 those are millimeters then again draw a line from this point to this point as well as this point to this point then click on trim entities remove these two parts okay 
then go to the features and select extruded boss revise direction the distance is equal to 15 millimeters okay then select this surface make a sketch on that one then again draw a circle from this origin and also draw another circle from this origin again make these two circles as equal ones okay. then go to the smart dimension the diameter is equal to 37 millimeters okay then go to the features and select extruded cut the depth is equal to 15 millimeters okay then again select this surface make a sketch on that one draw a circle from this point and draw another circle from this point make a smart dimension the diameter is equal to 31 this is also a equal circle to this one okay then go to the features and select extruded cut the depth is equal to 5 millimeters okay then go to the features and select mirror feature select front plane as the mirror flat surface so mirror face the mirror feature is selected like this way these two features we have to mirror okay we have to add another feature right click on the mirror feature and select edit feature we have to select this one also okay okay you can see the part is created like this way and we have to make another thing then select the surface and make a sketch on that one draw a line like this say which is horizontal sorry vertical one and again make a point from this origin and also this origin select this line and this created point make as coincide okay and also again do that one for these two okay then go to the features and select rib feature the thickness is equal to 5 millimeters then the direction is this one and then both side thickness okay you can see the rib is created like this and we have to mirror this rib feature to other side then again select front plane as the mirror face and also the feature that we have to mirror is rib one okay you can see the rib feature is mirrored then go to the chamfer feature select these four edges and the distance is equal to one millimeter okay then go to the fillet feature select these four edges as well as these four edges there are 88 eight edges we have selected the radius is equal to 5 millimeters okay then again select fillet feature select this surface this one 
this one and also these three surfaces. The radius is equal to 2.5 millimeters. 2.5 millimeters. Okay. Again, select fillet feature. Select these edges. There are 12 edges. Select these edges like this way. Okay. We have selected 12 edges and the radius is same as the previous case. It is 2.5 millimeters. Okay. Then we have to make some bolt hole. For that case, select this surface, make a sketch on that one, then draw a center rectangle from the origin, then select this sketch and right click on that one, make construction geometry and also these two lines construction geometry. Okay. Then go to the smart dimension and select this line and this line the distance between these two is equal to 7 millimeters and also this one okay let's sketch it fully defined one then select point and make some points from the center of the this line and also this line then again draw center line from this line to this line make a point on this line then select these two points one is the point that we created previous one and the other one is the midpoint of the line then these two Now we have to create another center line from the center point of this line. Okay. Right click, select. Then we have to delete this point. Okay. Then again create center line from the origin. That is horizontal one. Then go to the mirror entities. Select this line the mirror about from this line okay then exit the feature exit the sketch then go to the features and select hole wizard hole type is hole standard is ANSI metric type of hole is screw clearance hole specifications M5 M5 fit is normal and up to next in condition is up to next then select position click on 3d sketch and locate hole like this way select this point that we have created Okay, there are eight holes. Okay, then again select this surface, make a sketch on that one, then go to the sketch, click on offset entities, select these four edges. close again select offset entities select the surface like this way and click on revise direction the distance is equal to offset distance 10 millimeters click on ok again select this sketch and right click on it and make a construction geometry then go to the sketch and make some points from the center point of this line and also this line 
then from this point and this point select these two points make as vertical okay then go to the evaluate and click on measure measure the distance between this surface and this surface is equal to 93 okay so the distance between this point to this point is equal to 93 divided by 2 okay this is the center point of the these two surfaces okay then we have select some point then exit the sketch then go to the features and select whole wizard the whole type is same as the previous case and the standard is also same type is also same whole specifications is change to m8 and the other one now others are same then go to the position and click on 3d sketch then make holes on created points like this way there are eight holes okay then the part is completed then we have to add materials right click on material and click on edit material go to the iron select grey cast iron as the material of the part ok then we have to make some colors to these surfaces select this surface this one and select yellow color for these selected surfaces okay right then the past part is completed and we have to make another part from next video so hope you enjoy this one and learn something then see you next time